Colombia, she faces Catherine Unterwertzacher of Austria. It's the uh, Colombian in the white jadogi, the Austrian in blue. Well, I was always impressed the way the uh, Kazakhstan and Georgian names roll off your tongue, but the German ones uh, have a particular nuance there. Uh, <laughs> Blue drops in there for a little Stemi Waza. And a nice Uchimata attempt there by White. Just sort of lost her grip there at the back. Just a little more Kazuji could have perhaps put her in a scoring position. Now she looks for some Makikomi. Lesko is furiously trying to set it up, then dropping the Makikomi. Then she goes for a Sanage. That's what referee calls Mate. Blue had a look there at uh, Ashiwaza. Looking for some Kosoto Gake. It expired on man two. Man under 81 kilo, in one for Australia. You're in Kokla, blue for oh. the UC. You're not for man. There's an opportunity for a check there, choke there, but Blue decides to go for Osai, Osai Komi. Just got to extract the leg. She's got a Tatehiyo. Shiho position here, but can't really get the leg out. I'm wondering whether uh, Valesco perhaps maybe got her hand in there. Like we said, we saw that yesterday mm. a little bit with the, uh, Yamamoto Anzu with, uh, was it Pendetti? Pendetti, yeah. Pendetti, yeah. She was clever. Well, the I've way to do it, isn't it? Well, I've seen a couple compares do that. I'm going to have to adopt that uh, tactic for <laughs> yes, my own show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are, you, are you suggesting that you find yourself in that position on a regular basis then? <laughs> You know, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Actually, have a pretty good Nawaza game, unless I'm against uh, someone from maybe Todai. Tokyo University has a particularly strong Nawaza team. All right, let me Wait. see here. Just whilst the... Um, Velasco. Velasco and Untervets are doing battle. Just want to mention to you about the um, the way the way that the draw works. Some of you at home, looking for your particular fighter. Um, if you're, 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 it takes a long time. You know, we've got mm. 73 fighters to get through, so um, there are various pools. Well, if you're looking for your fighter, you can always go over to uh, epon.org. Exactly. That's what we use and um, look at the draw sheet and then you'll find out when your fighter is due on. You can also do that by looking at the fights underneath the screen um, and it will tell you who's been on, who is on and who's coming on. But if you're looking in particular for uh, Evika Pavlinic from New Zealand, that's going to be a while. Um, they haven't started that particular round yet. So um, that, that's going to be a while. I'd imagine that that would be on um, mat number two. I think that's where that's going to be. Mat no, it'll be mat number two. In 10 fights time. All right, so I hope that um, answers your your question. The Austrian continues to work on the ground here. She looked like she was initially going to go for Shimiwaza in this sequence, and then she looked like she went for the arm. It's kind of hard to tell with the gi draped over uh, the uh, Colombian's back or Greg her head. Gregory Thomas was asking that question. I hope that's uh, sorted it out for you. Both um, fighters unable to generate anything really spectacular yet. But um, a 
I'm sorry that we've missed Jonathan Fernandez. I should have should have gone to Matt too. We well, should we'll have, see yeah. him again because yeah, he just, just uh, beaten Coughlin. Yeah. yeah. Jonathan Fernandez has just defeat, uh, defeated Ian Coughlin of uh, of uh, Australia on mat number two by Ipon as well. He's the um, the backup to Travis Stevens. Thanks very much to um, Carrie Chandler for um, giving us the heads up there. We just didn't get over there quick enough. So many uh, emails to try and get through. Here comes Unterwertzacher again with a great um, counter. And um, the, the, I'm sorry, I've got no um, control um, over the shot. And I agree with you. I don't think that that bird's eye view contributes to the beauty of judo at all. That's a really nice Uchimata. And um, we saw it from the roof. Perhaps so you think you got a couple cameras on these mats, so hopefully they can give us a different angle. Yeah, I think I think we'll, we'll see. That's the rooftop angle. Yeah, yeah it doesn't really. It's different. So well, is this. For, well, I think for a non-judo crowd, it's a unique perspective, yeah, but it doesn't really the best. show. Now, the tight, <laughs> tight shot is not exactly my favorite either. This is also equally tight. 